what year is it? It's a 1977 Dodge. Dodge what? Dodge chassis. Oh, chassis. I'll get Dodge chassis. The actual name of the company that uh, made it is called the uh, Country Camper. Country Camper? Right, okay, so the, the RV was made like a, by Country Camper That's right. on a Dodge, uh, and you said 1977? That's right. So it's, uh, how long have you had it? Oh, 25 years, 30 years. Oh, 30 years, and it's like, a, it's been doing the job, right? It's been doing the job. And what, what kind of engine you got in here? Uh, 440. A 440. Big, the big one. The big 440. And uh, you can go up, I'm sure you've had this up mountains and stuff. Oh, yes. Mountains and... Um, uh, what kind of, have you had any major problems where like you broke down the highway? I have broken many things on this motorhome, including the transmission, wow. twice. Twice the transmission? But I have never, it has never stranded me. No matter what I've broken, I've been able to drive back to civilization and, you fix, and fix it in civilization. You think that's kind of luck or what do you think about that? No, I think that's uh, carrying spare parts. Oh, Kerry, you, you know, you're able to work on it a little bit. And so you were, so it, if you got into a position, you were able to limp into town, right? That's correct. That's cool. I've, I've broken the starter, and I've been able to fix that on the road. I've broken the alternator, and I have a spare alternator, so I can replace that. Well, that's good news for people. Uh, that's good information. People need to carry, like, uh, extra alternators and starters, right? Well, if they want to go out, it's the out back. Right. If all you want to do is go city to city, then maybe not. But if you want to go out back down dirt roads, down places where you can want to stay for a week, and the town is the next town is forty miles away. Fan belts. Then they, yeah, exactly. Fan like belts. Fan belts. So you're prepared. You're prepared. Radiator hoses, fan belts. The whole nine yards. A lot of things. A lot of things that commonly break. They commonly wear out things. Right. That's con it used to be common sense in America, in, right. the, in the seventies. It used to be nothing but common sense. <laughs> Where'd you buy this? Can you... I was in San Francisco working in Silicon Valley at the time. Wow, you were in San Francisco. And I got tired of uh, working in Silicon Valley. I, said, well, let's I bet you you got some stories about Silicon Valley, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so let's change our lives. What do you want to do? I said, well, I always wanted to buy a motorhome and travel around the country. So that's what I did. And what, what year did you decide to do that? So 94, you've been on the road since 94. More than that, I've been on the road at least 25 years, 27 years, so what's that? Yeah. We're going back to the mid-90s, right? Yeah, mid-90s. Right? Yeah, you, and uh, you're like the, um, what are they, did you see that movie where the lady had the RV just recently come out? Uh, they had a name of that movie. You ever watch Netflix? No. She wanted to live the life. Wow, it's, uh, yeah, I, I love RVs and that's eventually what I want to do is um, because my I got a, a, a 78 GMC but it's not really something I trust to drive on the roads I live in it I don't um, when they get old enough they, they become that they become not cross-country anymore exactly they stay in the local area but this one this one's kind of easy to work on isn't it that's right it doesn't it's, nothing is computer controlled right so that's why you like it because it's easy to work on Got to figure, right. I can and, work on this. And, uh, and, uh, and then whatever town you go into, there's always a mechanic that can work on something like this that's one. Right. And, uh, I can't work on computer controlled engines. Oh, yeah, that's great. What's the most, uh, the best place you've parked this at? The most idyllic, uh, enjoyable place you've parked it? The most amazing place? Uh huh, amazing, yeah. There's a dirt road out of Moab that uh, winds up a canyon that gets you to. Uh, oh, I don't know, Canyonland, I suppose. Another 20 or 30 miles up the dirt road. So a dirt road in Moab. A dirt road out of Moab, up towards Canyonlands National Park. It takes you up to Canyonland National Park. Right, and you stop, and I stopped that, uh, I stopped on the road, and right off the cliff, I backed up right to the edge of the cliff. Wow. I put blocks behind my wheels so I wouldn't fall over it. Uh-huh. And that must have been, uh, thousand foot drop one of those kind of things it's like what? a grand canyon small exactly grand canyon. and there's like that red rock and stuff that's right and uh must have been beautiful huh it was great and you just parked there and stayed for like a week or so yeah, week. wow that is amazing people don't think of utah and um 
is ideally uh, sometimes, huh? Utah is actually a beautiful state. It's a beautiful it's state. A lot of beautiful places. So you spend a lot of time in Utah? I do. I have spent a lot of time in Utah. That's cool. Does this have a generator? It does not. Oh, you don't need a generator, huh? <laughs> You don't, okay. You ever think about solar? Yeah. Oh, you have a solar. Okay. And that, that's just like a little solar panel. How, how, what can you charge with that? 100 watts. What, can it, can yeah. it do like a refrigerator? Yeah, it's about 70, 80, 70, 80 watts. 70, 80 watts? What do you use, like radios and stuff? Uh, you've got, I'm, a, I'm a computer kind of guy. Oh, I see. And you can run your laptop off of this thing. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's yeah. all. You, that's all you need is this little thing here for a laptop. That's, all I need. that's, that's my lights. Uh, and uh, can it do the lights and the laptop at the same time? Yes. Wow, that's good to know. That's all. And then what do you do? Wherever you park, you just put it out there, okay. and um, let it sit all day. Okay. It sits there all day, so it charges the batteries up. And how many? Oh, you got. Your, and here's your little power inverter here. And power inverter. And what, how many batteries you got hooked up to the thing? You have two like marine batteries. That's right. Two marine batteries. And so that'll one, get one to, one to turn the motor over and run all the normal motor things that call up the motor battery. Uh huh. And a separate battery, which is large for the house, and they're both uh, deep, deep discharge marine batteries, like you said. And they'll put you through, so you could use your computer all night long if you wanted. Oh yeah, if I uh, if they're fully charged, if the two batteries are fully charged, and I park someplace, I could go for a week without using the solar power to charge them back up. I could last about a week on the batteries by themselves. Well, that's cool. That's and you're a computer guy, so you know uh, how to uh, work that. 